Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Going to get back on the Ford Woody Street Rod. Actually, was wondering what the year was on this thing. Not the year it made, but it's like a what is it? It's a Model A, so it's what, what was Model A? 20, 27 to 31 or something like that. Anyway, Model A Woody Street Rod. Really cool kit from 1987. If you hadn't already watched the first video where I started it. Um, I've got three of these and I figured this is an open one and I built it and I got it last year at the um, SCMA model club or the uh, South Carolina Models Modeler Association uh, Show in North Charleston, South Carolina. It was my very first show it meant a lot to me because it was like hey, man I'm I'm officially like entered in a model show and that was a lot of fun Unfortunately, this year the show got canceled for some unfortunate reasons. Uh, don't really know why, but they had to cancel it. And some of those guys reached reached out and let me know that it was not going to be held. Um, so in, instead of moping and saying, "Oh man, there's no show," I'm going to build this car in uh, recognition of that show uh, that I went to last year. Since it's not being held this year, and again, I bought that car at that show. It was my first time at a uh, vendor area of a, well, it was my first time to a model show. So vendor area was the coolest thing ever. And it was a small vendor area. I mean, this is not a giant show. It's kind of a small, a little more like local show. Not too local. I drove three and a half hours to get there. But you know what I mean. And uh, I saw those kits all set up for sale and I just went crazy and uh, bought this one. And saw it on the shelf uh, the other day, and I thought, you know what? It's fitting. Let's build this thing in, in recognition of the uh, modelers uh, SCMA uh, show that was supposed to be October the 22nd that got canceled. Wish they could reschedule it, but I know there's a lot that goes into those. Hope they didn't already have all their plaques and awards made up, though, because that would be a huge expense. Last year there was a huge table full of awards, and um, you know those things are dated. So anyway. What have I got done since the last video? So the last video, I had some parts that were on this napkin right here that needed to have, um, that I stripped the chrome off of. Um, I don't I don't like model kit chrome, to be honest with you. I don't like any of it. And the reason I don't like the kit chrome is because there's always those places where it's attached to the tree. And those are real, like, important areas usually where they put it they attach it right in the important areas and i don't know why they do that but anyway i dechromed it and i have this you can hardly read it but ak extreme metal and it is just about empty the stuff goes fast you, you don't even have to mix it you just pour it right in to your airbrush um but the chrome paint there i've tried it before and i've not been successful at it i'll just be real honest with you it just was a real let down but I don't think I was doing it right because I got the um, headlight assembly. I don't have my dang glasses on. Let me put them on for just a second. Laugh if you will. I can't see. But um, these headlight, uh, I painted it black. And I've heard people say, you know, paint it black, paint it, paint it with the uh, chrome paint while it's wet. I didn't. I've tried that. And it really didn't do anything. I didn't get any good results. But... I sprayed Tamiya lacquer gloss black and grabbed the chrome paint right after that and shot it on there and it started to almost have a chemical reaction that I didn't like but then the chemical reaction dang come on chemical reaction began to be like okay this is starting to turn anyway you're not gonna be able to see it very well this is starting to look like actual chrome and uh it does i think with a little practice even this ak that i was so disappointed in probably some really good stuff to make a uh to re-chrome your parts and now this chrome has that deep dark look and um i'm happy with it i think it looks cool so i got those painted all the parts that needed to be painted the, the carburetors, I painted them all in the in the chrome, but I will go back and, and uh, detail paint the um, the carburetors. The gear shifter, this is a cool little gear shifter. I don't know if any of you guys have ever noticed it, 
if you've built this kit, I'm sure you noticed it. It's got this long gear shifter. And this long gear shifter on the end has a little skull. It has a little teeny skull. Let me... You see that? It's got this little skull face. I thought, man, that is too cool. So I stripped the chrome off of that and uh, sprayed some of that chrome paint on here too. It's looking good. As well as the grill. I'll have to... Uh, I'll have to paint the, uh, I'm trying to get, like, block everything that may grab the camera's attention. <laughs> you have to trick it. You're like, no, dummy, look at this. But anyway, I don't think it's, I, I can't, it's blurry to me because of my eyes. But um, anyway, it's going good. Now what I'm going to do is get some paint mixed up. I think I'll bring y'all along and let's, let's do a color change. I've got this bottle right here of MCW it looks like it's almost full I don't even know if I need to use I think I have another one but it's bright red MCW part number 2052E Woo, it's hard for me to see I think that's what it said 205 yeah 2050E bright red enamel <laughs> stupid camera there it is so there it is, bright red enamel, um, bright red. It's way brighter than I want it. I don't think I want to paint it bright. I'd like to tone it down kind of like the box. I, I like that deep red color and I think that would look really good. So I'm going to get some, uh, I guess what would I put, brown or black or something in it? Just to deepen the red. But I've got a few other open bottles first before I go. To, this almost looks full. Maybe it is a full bottle. I don't want to change the color on an entire bottle unless I didn't have any. Oh well, the stuff's ripping off. All right, let's get with it. I'm gonna make some paint, and we will uh, see if I get some paint shot on these fenders, the cab, and the wheels. It's gonna look good. Alrighty, so I wanted to darken my paint up, so I added like 20 drops of black to this. And I think I got pretty close to my box color. Pretty close. Close enough. Close as it's going to get. So let's mix this paint. Simple as can be. Um, kind of look at your parts first. I've got these wheels. Uh, I've got eight wheels to paint. Inside and out. Uh, the cab. The fenders. The hood, the firewall, and the dash. So kind of gauge how much paint you're going to use. So um, it's I do 50/50. I do uh, one part paint, one part thinner. So I do. Let's see, there's two. These are milliliters. So two milliliters. Four. I'll probably do six mit. Let's see. I think six. That's going to double it because you're going to end up with twelve once you cut it with with your thinner. So there's six milliliters um, paint. I save my paint pipette. I don't throw it away because with the uh, Thinner, I don't, I'll reuse the thinner, um, so Mr. Color Leveling Thinner, I'll reuse the pipettes on the thinner because they, it evaporates. So there's one, that's two, four, and six. So the pipette that I used for the paint now because there's still paint inside it. You don't want to waste any paint. I'll stir this and start sucking it up and pushing it out. Sucking it up, pushing it out. It's going to, that thinned paint's going to take that thicker paint now and kind of clean this pipette out. So you can at least, you know, conserve a little bit of paint. You can start to see through it as you keep doing it. The paint on the walls of the pipette gets thinner and thinner. But that's how I do it. And then I use this one to fill the, uh, 
the cup on the airbrush. I always use a filter. So I'll come out straight out of here into the airbrush and I'll filter into the airbrush cup. I find that easier than trying to filter everything into here. Um, every pipette full that goes into my airbrush cup um, gets filtered. So I think that I'm ready to shoot some paint. All right, so uh, I'll, I'll paint on camera, so I'll move the camera and uh, we'll shoot some paint. Stand by. All right, so my filters are, I can't, couldn't find any smaller ones than these. These are relatively small and they work pretty good. So I'll take my pipette, continue to keep this stirred up. You know, you don't want, I mean, I guess you, it's a good idea. I always do. I can fill this thing. Usually it holds about two, two and a half. You don't want it too full because you don't want to spill this stuff all over creation. Okay, that's pretty full, two of them. And I'll just lay this filter over to the side because I'm going to use it again. And my paint, I'll put it over out of the way. Um, I've got to turn the vacuum on. So I'm going to... Uh, sound's going to go we're going to paint let's do it oh first don't forget the mask all right put the mask on all right there we go let's paint Alright everybody, I uh, got the body painted and it turned out real nice. Um, I uh, had a few little spots on it so I wet sanded it and did some polishing on it. Um, that's just the paint, that's no clear or anything like that and that's the way it's going to be so it looks nice. I uh, started on the body, um, I was paint. I painted the, the, the brown color that you saw, uh, the light color which looks doesn't look good but then I in, uh, painted the... Uh, all the panels is going to be like that and then I thought well I'll just take some panel liner and touch up a few uh, where the doors are and it just this paint is so flat it just wicked it right in so I just kind of had to do the whole thing with that panel line which it doesn't look that bad and what I'm going to do it really looks good right there um, I'm going to just do the other one as well already did the uh, trunk it's right there the trunk cover so what I'll do is just, I'm going to put some clear, um, like it's been varnished over top of that. And I think that's going to look nice. Also the, I'd already painted the carburetors and the headlights, um, chrome. I de-chromed them and, uh, I've done the, the grill a couple times so far. I wasn't happy with it, but I'm about to get the hang of this thing. I bought me some, this spaz sticks ultimate mirror chrome and uh i think it's going to turn out good i'm getting some practice so i'll probably uh film i'm going to paint these to me a lacquer uh lacquer gloss black the parts that i'm going to paint and then shoot that over top of it and it should give a nice chrome finish what i've noticed is you barely got to cover it if you cover it just barely it makes a nice chrome finish if you put too much it just turns silver so all, like i say all the other parts are painted it's looking really it's looking super nice and um, I'm kind of liking the way this accidentally turned out. So with a little clear on there, make it look varnishy. It's going to look nice. Started on the engine. 
um yeah so that's my update so stand by all right ready to paint these i painted these parts lacquer i mean uh to me a lot lacquer gloss black and i've got the uh, spaz sticks mirror chrome here so i'm going to turn on the uh, vacuum and we are going to see if we can't get some chrome paint painted oh and i'm painting it with my hobby nut models mini airbrush compressor <laughs> So what have I got done? I have now officially, I made even a bigger boo-boo on these things, but I did get a little bit of a gloss. I used some of the old testers gloss. It come like a, uh, I already put it up, but it come in a you know square bottle, but a bigger bottle. And I just mixed 50-50 with some and uh, sprayed it out of my airbrush. I knew it wasn't going to be too glossy, and that's what I was looking for, but it did uh, on the darker panels, because it was a, that's a second layer of paint it uh it does have a little more shine there which looks pretty good i think it looks more authentic like if they would have uh varnished these panels um and this one as well uh, i made a boo-boo which honestly i think it actually makes it look better so on the back side here it was just uh dry brushed and i didn't like it so on it uh, actually i just took a brush and dipped it into my panel line accent and just painted that stuff on there and it just darkened it up looked real nice what i didn't pay attention to was these two holes see those two holes you can see through i did not even pay attention to that well it bled through onto the other side and they made this big uh nasty looking uh black spot so all i did Took a little brown paint, smeared it a little bit. It looks, and when the door handles are on there, it's going to look like where your hands went. Isn't that cool? I think that actually looks like, uh, you know, Bob Ross was right. It's just happy accidents. Both sides did it. And it's just going to look like where it was handled more. Um, I hope, you know, maybe. And uh, the tailgate got a little bit of the gloss varnish on it. Looking good. Uh, got the chrome. Okay, so the, I had to, uh, I did spray the the, the uh, grill, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to get good at this. I got another coat. It's be number three. I think I've done it twice already, maybe three times. Maybe this is the fourth time. I don't remember. Um, I've tried and tried and tried to get that thing looking right. Actually, I tried it before I ever uh, brought you guys on camera to see me doing it. I tried at least once on there and had to just take it back off, take it back off. Um, the, uh, I, I, I don't remember if on this video, if I'd already sprayed these, but I stripped them and I've done them again. I did them with the AK at first, but now, now I did them with the, uh, spats, whatever that stuff is. I got, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It definitely is something that you have to get used to doing. Here are the carburetors. I'm going to paint the carburetors. I just wanted the breathers painted, but they, honest to goodness, if it would focus, they do look like chrome. So anyway, I'm glad those little uh, ejector pins are on the inside. They're not on the outside. They look pretty cool. And the exhaust, which were originally chrome, and I de-chromed them because I just don't like that. Chrome, they actually look pretty 
pretty uh a lot more like chrome on in in real life than looking through this camera lens i can promise you that uh the engine i've got the intake and the uh chrome valve covers why didn't you chrome them matthew well they actually were pretty nice i thought that the uh valve covers and the intake were, were they looked nice i didn't have to de-chrome any of that and i also have the bumper it has a front bumper and i left that chrome on there um but yeah this is coming along quite nice i've got to find out is are there any decals there are no dashboard decals okay so the dash has the instrument panel cluster but no so the only decals are woody um license plates oh well um i'll paint them or something do something in there the rims turned out really nice um or wheels whatever they are spoke wheels they turned out nice gonna look good uh the firewall everything's looking great if i can get this darn chrome paint to to do right um this the interior ceiling so this is the ceiling this goes under this so there's your top oh wow that turned out good i threw a, i put a coat of flat coat on there and boy that really evened it out looks nice and this is the bottom side i just kind of dry brushed put some it's 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 under the top i thought when i was going at it it almost looked like wood that had water leak stains all over it <laughs> which i know that sounds so stupid but it's under the the roof and how many people like pick it up and want to look at their ceiling of it um but anyway there there it is anyway it does have some paint some color on it um i think that's pretty much it the floorboard here's the floorboard of the uh interior floorboard i just tried to grime it up a little bit yes it's a street rod but it's a driven street rod so i just want to grime it up the seat will go where it's light so you won't see any of that i gotta paint the shifter boot and the pedals and then the bottom that is uh, also a that brown color that all this started that really light brown i just took in a um put a panel line uh the tamiya panel line i just dipped a paintbrush in there and painted it on here and uh got it looking kind of dark and it looks okay but that is where i'm at the chassis I was attempting to start on that, but anyway, it's looking really nice and uh, shiny. Anyway, all right, so I'll end this video here. Um, we'll make three segments of this. We'll get this this nice looking woody put together. The fenders and all are looking great. Like I said, I sprayed the MCW enamel and the finish was great, but I had a piece of trash right about here and I had a piece over here, kind of the same spot. I wet sanded those out and then took my uh, little buffing wheel that's on my drill and I use this scratch out and uh, I'll probably put a coat of uh, wax on there to bring the shine out just a little bit but you know these cars wouldn't have had an ultra shiny paint job I don't know what I'm going for but I gotta paint the running boards black but um, the paint looks good really really slick and smooth and uh yeah okay i'm done talking guys thanks for watching this video don't forget to go check out hobby nut models where i got all my supplies from do this um get your model kit grab you some mcw paint uh some whatever he's got it over there go check him out uh, model, uh, model car uh hobby nut models.com it's linked in my description vi uh, video description go check it out also, um, join the Facebook group if you haven't already. Model Car Videos Facebook group. Having a great time over there. So many people and so much stuff going on over there. It's overwhelming. I can't keep up. But anyway, I do periodically jump in there and check out some of the builds. And uh, it's great. Go check that out. Also, uh, Spring Store. Thank you to everyone. I want to say a big thank you to everyone who's bought t-shirts and coffee mugs and all those different things over there. And supported me in that way. And the Patreon group. Um, thank you guys so much for your continued support. If you're not a Patreon member, I would ask you to consider being a Patreon member and uh, go over there and uh, check it out. Linked in the description is all those are all these things that I have mentioned. And again, just a big thanks to all my subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, I would ask you to hit that subscription button, like this video if you liked it, and uh, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of my progress. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next video. Take care. Bye.